Hey, welcome back. About a year ago, I moved out of this big backpack as my everyday carry bag, and I moved into this uh, Tom Tox 7 liter sling bag, and I did that in the hopes that I would break myself of the habit of just overstuffing a bag and throwing stuff in there. Didn't work. <laughs> I still do it. And stuff's just dumped in there. So I bought this Max Spedition uh, little organizer bag. It's called the Skinny. And we'll take a closer look at that. We'll load it up and see if it helps. I'm not very confident that I will, but it did might. Uh, it's it's got to be an improvement. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So I bought this off Amazon for about $2,800, I think. Uh, the Max Expedition website has it listed at $36, but they've got a deal. Buy one, get one free. I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's very well made. Uh, the stitching is uh, really good. I've gone over the whole thing and haven't seen any missed stitches. It's double stitched in places where you would think it would need it, like on this uh, webbing here. It's double stitched. And uh, it's got a lot of pockets. Uh, let's see what the website says about it. They're calling this the slenderized version of a fatty pocket organizer. So this is the skinny. I think this will fit inside a sling bag a lot better than uh, the fatty. The fatty is wider. And uh, I carry an umbrella in my sling bag, so the umbrella is going to sit here. And then this will hopefully slide in right beside it. It says it has three deep integrated slip and zipper pockets. Uh, so there's a big pocket here. Also a webbed pocket up front. Uh, there's a zipper pocket here. And it looks like it's gusseted so that it will uh, be able to stuff it. And it's got a lot of, um, this is very thick elastic webbing. This is probably two inch webbing and maybe three quarter inch webbing on top of it. So there's lots of places to stick stuff in there. It's got a, a key loop here. So you can put your keys in there and stuff them down there. And there's another loop right there says it's uh, American design but made in Vietnam. So the overall size, they're saying it is four inches long, although I would call this wide <laughs> instead of long. I would call that long. We're calling this four inches long, eight inches high, and two and a half inches thick. Um, so I think that's plenty, especially for that little sling bag. And they're calling this color wolf gray. If you've never seen a wolf in the wild, they're this color. <laughs> uh, it's got some molly webbing on the back. It's got a big grab loop, uh, which will be convenient just to reach down and yank it out of my sling bag. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's load it up. Okay, that was pretty painless. This stuff was just junk. This is uh, used notebooks that I need to just put away or throw away. Had an extra USB-C cable. Don't need two. And just some paper clips, rubber bands. Uh, stuff that I did not put back in here. I didn't want to crush it. Uh, I carry Narcan with me. Uh, this is the world we live in nowadays. And uh, the job I have, it's not a bad idea to have that around just in case you run across somebody that needs it. Uh, I didn't put this uh, wet ones in there. also carry a big pack of it. I didn't put that in there. I could have, but I didn't. I think I'll keep that out where I can, um, again, wipe my hands off and sanitize myself. Because um, no telling where I will end up during a day. <laughs> So, nice to have those. Uh, pepper spray, I need to keep that out uh, somewhere where it's handy. And there's a little magnetic clip to it. This is Sabre Red Gel. Uh, good stuff, I guess. I've never used it. <laughs> I did not put my earbuds in there because I want to have ready access to that. Same thing with the tissue. Same thing with the hand sanitizer. 
I carry a spare set of keys to my wife's car, and she carries a spare set of keys to my truck. In case we ever get locked out, we can come rescue each other. Of course, my Kindle will go in my sling bag, so I can just pull it out and read. And I think that's about it. So this is going into the bottom of my sling bag. Let's do that. I almost forgot to show you what's inside. Got a 10,000 milliamp anchor battery bank. In here with a checkbook, I've got some sunscreen for my bald head. I've got a pill bottle with uh, you know, various medicines <laughs> like uh, ibuprofen, omeprazole, things like that. I've got a little power block. I've got a thumb drive with a little button light. I have a four in one charging cable and a USB-C charging cable, some chapstick. I've got my extra wallet in my everyday carry notebook. I just carry the essential things and then all the other cards and things that I don't need all the time. I just keep in a little chum's wallet. That's about it. Nice, so it's a good compact little bag and uh, there's still plenty of room in there for other things. I could put some extra fountain pens in those uh, additional loops, but I think this webbing out here would be better for extra fountain pens because I could just you know, reach in my bag and grab one out. Okay, hang on to something. I'm gonna take you way up high. There we go. And this, well, first let's put the umbrella in here. I have a uh, little pocket. There's a little pocket built into this for my umbrella. This is the repel uh, kind of automatic umbrella, automatic open, automatic close. I've done a video on that. And then this can go in maybe this way. Wow, perfect. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, I should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, still got plenty of room. My Kindle can go right back there. And actually, these can go back there too. I think I will put the Narcan in this little zipper pocket. And uh, probably hand sanitizer too. Another pocket here. I can drop those keys down in there. And earbuds. And there we go. And I usually attach my pepper spray to a little carabiner right there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Big improvement. Now I've still got lots of room in there. So I needed to do this. Wow, look at that. I can actually, I forgot. A little everyday carry journal goes in there. Nice. Okay, thanks to everyone who has subscribed, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.